What's up guys? Today I'm coming at you with a travel workout. So all you're gonna need is a set of resistance bands and you can do this workout no matter where you are. First exercise, we're gonna target the shoulders. We're gonna be doing standing Arnold presses. So what you need for this, I have a pair of 41 inch resistance bands. I'm going to be using a pair of clench band handles because it makes them more comfortable. You don't necessarily need them, but they certainly help to make the exercise easier to do and more effective. Setting it up, basically looping one band around each foot, and then we're gonna bring these bands out in front of us. Arms are at a 90 degree resting on our chest, and then we're gonna do one smooth motion where we're gonna go around and up into a full shoulder press, keeping our core pulled in tight, spine nice and neutral. Exhale on the way up, big squeeze at the top. Let it down nice and slow, coming around. Don't let it drop too low. Don't let your spine and everything hunch over. Keep everything nice and straight and tight. And all we're doing is going around and up. Big press. Let it down nice and slow. And we're gonna be doing three sets here of 10 to 15 reps. And if you can, try to bump that resistance up on each set. Exercise number two, we're gonna be sticking with the upper body. We're gonna do some chest and triceps with banded push-ups. So it's gonna be just like a normal push-up, except we're gonna grab a band, wrap it around the small of our back, and I like to hook it into my thumbs. You can kind of hook it around however makes it most comfortable. I find that having the band come underneath of my elbows, uh, between my arm and the side of my body is the most comfortable, and it keeps me in a good form. To do this push up, drop down, basically shoulder width with your arms, get into that nice plank position, getting that butt drop down all the way to the floor. Just touch your nose to the floor, big squeeze, and squeeze that chest at the top, trying to touch those biceps to those pecs. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up, big squeeze. And if this is too much resistance, you can go on your knees or you can lose the band. Want we, we want to be getting three sets here of 10 to 15 reps. And like I said before, try to bump that resistance up from every single set. All right, exercise number three, we're gonna be targeting the back and biceps with a pulling motion. We're doing bent over rows. So grab yourself a single 41 inch band. You're going to be able to go a little bit heavier than your prior exercises. I'm using a pair of clench band handles. Just pop one in to each side, just like that. Bring this band down and around, and we're gonna center it on our feet, getting everything nice and equalized. And then we're gonna basically bring this band up. I like the handles out in front of me. So we're gonna stand up, get into that bent over position, pulling our core in tight. And I like to be at roughly about a 45 degree angle here. And we're gonna grab overhand grip and roll that all the way up into our midsection, trying to get our elbows behind the spine. So we're pulling through our elbows, <sighs> exhale, big squeeze, let it down nice and slow, full stretch with those scapulas, <sighs> big squeeze at the top, let it down nice and slow. <sighs> Same thing here, we're gonna be doing three sets of 10 to 15 reps, <sighs> nice and slow and controlled, and try to increase that resistance with each set. Next up, exercise four. We're gonna be doing a little super set here. We're gonna be doing uh, supinated bicep curls combined with pronated or overhand grip bicep curls. Grab yourself a single 41 inch band. And I like to use some fat grips or clench grips to make them a little bit more comfortable, especially on the supinated curls, just so that's not getting into your hands so much. You can wear a set of gloves or whatever, or just go without. Um, but this is the most comfortable way for me. So you're gonna step into this band, get roughly a sh just inside shoulder width grip. And we're gonna do some supinated or underhand grip curls. So pin those elbows into your side. And we're gonna be doing basically three supersets. And we're gonna be targeting the six to 10 rep range for each set. And I want you going to failure. So you should fail out somewhere between six and 10 reps. Set your resistance accordingly pinning our elbows into our side for the supinated grip and pronated grip. And then we're gonna curl this up, big squeeze at the top, 
let it down nice and slow. Targeting six to 10 reps here. Nice and controlled. Don't use momentum. Drive all of that load into the biceps. And once we fail out at six to 10, we're gonna take a little bit of a break here. So take around, you know, 10 to 15 deep breaths. Switch your grip to the pronated grip, overhand grip. After we take our little uh, 15 breath break, which is usually like 15 to 30 seconds, we're gonna jump right into our pronated grip curls. Keeping those elbows pinned into our side. Big squeeze at the top, let it down slow. Same thing here, six to 10 reps. Do it until you fail out. Nice and controlled. Boom, and that is one set. And then we're gonna repeat that two more times for a total of three supersets. Next up, exercise number five. We're gonna be doing some single overhead tricep extensions. Grab yourself a single 41 inch band. The setup for this, a little bit tricky, not too bad. We're gonna hook the band onto our heel, if I could get it there. And then we get kind of a staggered stance and that basically just puts that band out behind us a little bit more. And then we basically grab the band with our opposite hand. So I got my left leg hooked up and my right arm is the working arm. Stagger that stance, get your core pulled in nice and tight. And then you want that elbow up kind of as high as possible. And then you just do a full extension, getting that arm nice and straight, keeping this humerus as vertical as possible and keeping it stationary. So we're only bending at the elbow. We're gonna be doing three sets of 10 to 15 reps per side. So you do 10 to 15 reps on your right arm, switch sides, go to the left arm, take a little break, and then do your other two sets. Next up, exercise number six, we're gonna start going into the legs. Grab yourself a single 41 inch band. I'm using a clench pair, a pair of clench band handles as well. We're gonna be doing some RDLs, a little hip hinge action to get some hamstrings fired up. Set this up, two handles, one band. Stepping shoulder width stance, get that band nice and centered. And then I like to get these handles right out and on the front of my legs. We're gonna stand up, thrusting those hips forward. And then keeping our core pulled in tight, spine neutral, we're gonna stick our butt out and we're gonna break at the hips and let those handles glide right down the front of our legs all the way down until we start to lose tension. And then slowly come out of the bottom, thrusting our hips forward. Big squeeze at the top, glutes tight. Inhale on the way down, nice and slow and controlled. Exhale on the way up, big hip thrust. And we're shooting for three sets here of 10 to 15 reps. And try to increase that resistance on each set if you can. But remember with this one, you want form over resistance for sure because you want to this one puts a lot of stress on your lower back so i just want to make sure that you get the form mastered keep everything nice and controlled you should be feeling it in those hamstrings and those glutes next up exercise number seven we're doing x band squat so we're doing some more leg stuff grab yourself a pair of 41 inch resistance bands usually i like to go heavier on this but if you're traveling i can understand if you don't want to bring a ton of bands with you we're going to try to do three sets 10 to 15 reps here. If you're too light on your bands, you can always just bump the reps up a little bit more, bump into that 20 range if you want, whatever works well for you. Start with the bands. We're gonna drape them over our shoulders here to make that X, and then we're gonna step into each band. Grab the lower one first, and then the upper one, right around the center of our foot. And then, we're gonna jump into these squats, getting a shoulder width stance. I like to put my arms out in front of me, strap down into our squat, get nice and low. This femur should be parallel to the ground or maybe a little bit below. Big squeeze, thrusting our hips forward, squeezing those quads at the top. Inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way up. 
And if you really wanna challenge yourself, slow that tempo down, take a few seconds on the way down, pause at that bottom, and then squeeze it hard up at the top. Last exercise, number eight, we're gonna be doing split squats. So it's gonna be more of a single leg exercise. Grab yourself a 41 inch band. I'm using this purple one. And we're gonna get into kind of a lunge position, split squat position with one foot out in front, one foot out and back. Grab your band, loop it around that front foot. And then we're gonna drop down into that lunge position. Load our band up. I like to get it right on the front delts here up as high as I can get it before it gets into my neck. And then we're doing split squats. Nice and slow and controlled. Just barely tap that knee to the ground. Big squeeze on the top. Inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way up. Three sets of 10 to 15 reps per side. Keep that tempo nice and slow couple seconds on the way down, little pause at the bottom, big squeeze on the way up. And this will wrap up our travel workout. I hope you enjoyed this travel workout. And honestly, I hope that you do it while you're traveling because staying active while traveling, I know it can be difficult. That's why resistance bands are a great tool. They travel well and it's easy to just do a workout no matter where you're at, still get a high quality workout. What I would recommend is using our level one kit, or level one, level two kit from Clench Fitness. Those are built for travel. They're nice and small. You still get either six or eight resistance bands so you can get a full workout in no matter where you're at. If you like this video, be sure to smash that like button. Furthermore, if you need more content like this, check out the on-screen video links. We've got tons of workouts and exercises on our channel. And also, if you need any resistance bands or accessories, of course, head over to clenchfitness.com. We will hook you up and thank you for watching.